These are the adventures of Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood was very brave, kind, and smart. Red Riding Hood's thoughtful grandmother made her a long red coat with a red hood that Red Riding Hood always wore. And this is why everyone called her Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood lived in the city with her mother. One day, the mother was baking cookies for Red Riding Hood's grandmother, who wasn't feeling well. She thought the cookies would cheer her up. Red Riding Hood told her mother she would love to help bake cookies for grandmother, so together they mixed the ingredients. They cut out the cookies, put them on a pan, and then into the oven. Red Riding Hood was so happy to make the cookies for Grandma. Soon the cookies were done and they put the cookies in a little basket to carry to Grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood went to deliver the cookies to Grandmother who lived in a little house in the forest. The mother said, please be careful when you walk through the forest. Stay on the path and do not talk to any strangers. Red Riding Hood told her mother that she would be very careful and waved goodbye to her. Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest and stayed on the path. Because it was spring, she heard the birds and she saw lots of beautiful flowers. To her surprise, a little bunny hopped up to Little Red Riding Hood and asked her where she was going. And Little Red Riding Hood told her about her grandmother, who was not feeling well, and that she was bringing cookies to her. Well, the bunny thought that that was so nice, and he told her, have a good day, and he hopped away. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood came upon a little raccoon, and the raccoon asked Little Red Riding Hood where she was going, and she told the raccoon she was going to her grandmother's house, who wasn't feeling well, to bring her the cookies. The raccoon thought that was so nice of Little Red Riding Hood and told her to have a nice day. Next, Little Red Riding Hood came upon a hedgehog and the hedgehog asked her where she was going. And Little Red Riding Hood told the hedgehog that she was going to Grandmother's house who wasn't feeling well to bring her some cookies to hopefully cheer her up. The hedgehog too thought that this was so kind of Little Red Riding Hood and told her to be safe in the forest. <laughs> Next, Little Red Riding Hood came upon a wise old owl who was sitting in a tree. The owl asked Red Riding Hood where she was going and again Red Riding Hood told her forest friend that she was going to Grandmother's house who was not feeling well to bring her cookies to hopefully help cheer her up. The owl thought that was very thoughtful of Little Red Riding Hood, and before he flew off, he told her to be very careful while walking in the forest. Next, Little Red Riding Hood came upon a fox who frightened Little Red Riding Hood. The fox growled at her and asked her where she was going to. Little Red Riding Hood told the fox that she was going to Grandmother's house to bring her some cookies because she wasn't feeling well. Well, the fox ran away from Little Red Riding Hood and didn't even tell her to have a nice day. Little Red Riding Hood continued to walk through the forest and enjoyed the beautiful spring day. Well, that sly fox ran straight to Grandmother's house before Little Red Riding Hood could get there. The fox knocked on Grandmother's door, and Grandmother came to the door. And she said, what are you doing here, fox? And the fox said, let me in, let me in. And the Grandmother ran in the house. She then ran up the stairs and locked herself into a closet. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood came upon Grandmother's house in the forest. Little Red Riding Hood was so excited to see Grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood knocked and knocked on Grandmother's door, but she never came to open the door. So Little Red Riding Hood went into Grandmother's house up to her bedroom 
and that's where she saw her lying in bed. And when Little Red Riding Hood saw her grandmother, she said, Why, grandmother, what big eyes you have? And grandmother said, The better to see you with, my dear. And next Little Red Riding Hood said, Grandmother, what a big nose you have. And the grandmother said, The better to smell you with, my dear. Then Red Riding Hood said, Grandmother, what big ears you have. And Grandmother said, The better to hear you with, my dear. Next Red Riding Hood said, Grandmother, what big sharp teeth you have. And Grandmother said, The better to eat you with, my dear. Just then Red Riding Hood realized it was the fox and not Grandmother in bed. All of a sudden, Red Riding Hood's forest friends came through the open window. The owl, the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the raccoon told the fox that he was not being a kind friend to Red Riding Hood and that he would have to leave the grandmother's house as soon as possible. The fox ran down the stairs. Out the door and into the forest and never bothered Little Red Riding Hood or her grandmother again. Oh, Red Riding Hood was so grateful to be with her kind forest friends. Soon Little Red Riding Hood and her forest friends could hear knocking on a door and yelling for help. Grandmother came out of the closet and was so happy to be saved by Little Red Riding Hood and the forest friends. Oh, Grandmother was so happy to see Little Red Riding Hood and gave her a big hug. Together, the Grandmother, Red Riding Hood, the Owl, the Raccoon, the Rabbit, and the Bunny all sat together at the kitchen table to share the treats that Red Riding Hood had made for Grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother thanked the animals again for their bravery and thoughtfulness to save them from the fox. Soon it was time to go, and Little Red Riding Hood was so happy that grandmother was now feeling better. Grandmother gave Little Red Riding Hood a hug goodbye and thanked her for being such a kind, thoughtful granddaughter and for visiting her and making her those special treats. Grandmother waved goodbye to Little Red Riding Hood and the forest friends. Red Riding Hood and her forest friends began their journey back home through the forest. Finally, they arrived back at Red Riding Hood's house. Red Riding Hood thanked her forest friends again, the owl, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the raccoon for being such brave, kind, and thoughtful friends. She told the forest friends that she would hope to see them again soon one day. Little Red Riding Hood went into the house and her mother was so happy to see her. Little Red Riding Hood told her mother about all the adventures in the forest and at Grandmother's house today. Her mother was so happy that she was safe at home. Little Red Riding Hood was so happy to be safe at home also and looked out the window to say goodbye to her forest friends again. The end.